Sundeep Unathan. Exec Editor, India Today who was first broke stories on development of INS Arihant and development of K-15 and K-4 submarine launched ballistic missile has revealed, more about India's nuclear submarine plans and has confirmed that INS Arad Hayman which will be India's second ballistic missile submarine will be stretched Arihant class ship which has double the missile carrying capabilities and is unlikely to be called Arihant sister ship rather will be known as Arad Hayman lead ship of a new SSBN class. Sister ship of Arad Hayman which will be similar to the lead ship Arad Hayman currently is designated as S4 and another follow on sister class dubbed as S4 asterisk, plus, will make up three Arad Hayman ballistic missile class submarine fleet of Indian Navy. Unathan also confirms that Indian Navy already has started working on the successor of Arad Hayman ballistic missile class submarine at least a decade ago and new larger ballistic missile class which will be designated as S-5 and will be as big as Ohio class nuclear powered submarines currently used by the United States Navy. It is unclear how many S-5 sister class ships will be developed at this point in time but the construction of the new class of SSBN is yet to commence and it is likely will go on the floor for nearly a decade from now. India will be having a fleet of following numbers of nuclear submarines in near future. One SSBNs of Arihant class plus three SSBNs of Arad Hayman class and S5 SSBNs apart from six new SSNs and INS Chakra and one more to be leased from Russia. Last year Indian Navy was given go-ahead to start design work on the development of six new nuclear attack class submarines which will be developed in parallel to the ballistic missile class submarine fleet so that work on both the projects will continue independently. Unnamed six nuclear attack class submarines SSN are required to be much stealthier to do sneak attack and surveillance roles and it is reported that construction of Scorpeni class diesel attack submarines in India has helped Naval Design Bureau a lot in obtaining technical know-how to better understand and develop stealthier hull. The SSN are designed to track down and defeat both, the SSBN and the enemy aggression. These submarines are used in the attack of particular targets on land by the launch of the fast missiles by use of the torpedo tubes. INS Arad Hayman INS Arad Hayman is the second Arihant class submarine. She is the second nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine being built by India. She is being built under the Advanced Technology Vessel ATV, project to build nuclear submarines at the shipbuilding center in Visakhapatnam. This submarine will have double the number of missile hatches than its predecessor INS. Arihant giving it the ability to carry more missiles. This will have a more powerful reactor than its predecessor. What makes INS Arad Hayman more deadlier than its predecessor INS Arihant colon? INS Arad Hayman is the second nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine being built by India. She is being built under the Advanced Technology Vessel ATV, project to build nuclear submarines at the shipbuilding center in Visakhapatnam. Even though the same class as INS Arihant, she will feature eight launch tubes instead of the four giving her double the firepower of Arihant. Thus she could carry 24 K-15 Sagraka short-range SLBMs or 8 K-4 long-range SLBMs. She will also feature more powerful reactor than her predecessor. The boat will have a seven-blade propeller powered by a pressurized water reactor. She can achieve a maximum speed of 12, 15 knots, 22, 28 km slash h, on water surface and 24 knots, 44 km per hour, underwater. The submarine has eight launch tubes in its hump. She can carry up to 24 K-15 Sagraka missiles, each with a range of 750 km or 470 miles, or 8 of the underdevelopment K-4 missiles, with a range of 3,500 km or 2,200 miles. INS Arad Hayman will be fitted with the Sonar ISS, Integrated Sonar Suite, state-of-the-art sonar developed by NPOLDRDO. It is a unified submarine sonar and tactical control system, which includes all types of sonar, passive, surveillance, ranging, intercept, obstacle avoidance and active. It also features an underwater communication system. The hull features twin flank array sonars and Raphael broadband expendable anti-torpedo countermeasures. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button if you like our video and don't forget to subscribe India Defense News.